Hi everybody. Hello, we are Ryan and Bethany. From Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. All right, you guys, every once in a while we like to take a step back and talk about what we're doing to become better, healthier people. Uh, so this is kind of how our channel started. This is something we like to kind of throw an homage to every once in a while. Uh, and so yeah, we're gonna give our monthly update for January. How are we doing to become healthier people? And we like to hear from you guys as well. So anytime you guys, um, you know, feel free yeah. to let us know how you guys are doing, what you're doing to be healthier people, what are some, some tips you've had, what are some success stories that you've had, what are some you know struggles that you've had as well. We'd yeah. love to hear from you guys. We can all kind of grow and hopefully be better together. I know on our last health, day, health update, we got this really long um, comment from somebody and I absolutely loved it, just like hearing that story and it was very encouraging. So we really do appreciate it when you guys let us know how you're going in your health journey. And that helps propel us into January. January is a great time of year, uh, traditionally, to reset kind of some health goals of yours. And that is no different this year for us. Uh, I know for me, um, I'm a big dude. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> like on the camera, I angle it just as, you know, to try to make me look as small as possible because that's the way I want to do it. <laughs> but in reality, I am a huge guy. Um, and as such... But it's okay, Ryan, because I love you latte. Oh, thank you. I love you too, a latte. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so there's not a lot of scales that work for me, right? So what is working for me right now and what has been motivating me all January long are non-scale victories, non-scale goals that I'm trying to work towards. Um, so for one thing, uh, I've got an award ceremony that I want for my job in a few weeks. And one of the things I'm working towards is to be able to fit into my suit really nicely. I can squeeze into it right now, but it's like one of the things I like flexed or, you know, <laughs> like break some seams or whatever. So I want to be able to fit to that nicely. And I've got some great shirts that I haven't been able to wear in a long time. So I've got some goals for the summer to be able to wear those. Um, and obviously, uh, I want to be able to be able to weigh myself. <laughs> I'll get down to where that's going to be an easier, easier task as well. Um, so right now I'm focusing on those non-scale victories, which is actually really nice. You know, I, when I've done diets in the past, as in my life, and I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that, you, you gain weight and lose weight in that same exact 50 pounds or 20 pounds or whatever it is, over and over and over and over again. Um, the numbers motivate me for like a little while, right? Yeah. They don't motivate me for a week. It's like, oh, I'm losing like a pound a day. It's fantastic or whatever. And then as soon as I only lose like 0.1 pound or I even gain 0.1 pound or whatever, I, I freak. This is pointless. This is horrible. I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm getting a sandwich. I'm getting, I'm, eating, I'm eating ice cream. Whatever it is. I'm so mad. Um, so instead of being able to focus on non-scale victories, it's really helped me get through this month so far. Um, I've only had really one lapse day. And even that wasn't that bad. I, as yeah. far as my calorie count went, I, I did pretty, pretty well even on that bad day. So um, I'm just looking forward to being able to do things I like to do again. I have my knee not hurt as much because I don't have as much weight on it yeah. and those kinds of things. So again, uh, that's my that's my uh, tip. That's my advice. That's my goal for myself is those non-scale victories. Focusing on those right now. Um, the one thing that I'm doing is a couple of years ago, I listened to the audiobook Atomic Habits by James Clear. And I thought to myself, this is a great book. I need to read it again and slowly and implement it as I'm reading it. So I'm, I'm doing that now. So I'm reading it slowly. Um, this was in my library bookstore and it's awesome because when the libraries are in a bookstore, they're only 50 cents. So I got this book for 50 cents. But, um, so I picked up this book and now I am reading through it very slowly to try to implement it. it those who don't know Atomic Habits, it's about, it's kind of about habit building, but creating really small habits, um, connecting it with stuff you're already doing, but it's building small things to make big changes. And so it's an excellent book, excellent book on habit building. And I'm happy to be rereading it instead of listening to it so I can implement it as I go. Are you guys, again, let us know what you're going through. Let us know how you are doing successes and what your struggles are. It really encourages us and we'd love to, you know, partner with you guys and, uh, yeah, we can all get healthier together. Well, everybody, until next time, bye. Bye, everybody.